Hey yo, what is happening guys? This is the Lightning Chick coming at you with another video. So today we are going to be analyzing the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that was just revealed yesterday and there's a lot of hidden stuff within here so I'm just really excited to get into this and without further ado let's just dive straight into it. <laughs> So it starts off with the Heartless Swarm which we had at the Keyblade Graveyard and it says the heart you have now so this could re refer to the Roxas and all that but then Sora's standing there already exists during that time this is most likely Roxas as well as Ventus because we know Sora's heart is connected to both of them um, it has already gone back into the past so this could indicate maybe some time travel stuff when Sora actually went back in time to save his friends and uh, nothing can change that fact and the swarm happened so basically this is around the time Sora went into the past so he can save his friends so basically this could be the time when Sora actually awoke in the power of awakening <laughs> So then we got Axel basically fighting Shion and they really don't know that this is Shion as yet and he throws his beautiful hat Tengi whatever you call them <laughs> I always forget what they are but yeah she actually deflects it and he catches them while extinguishing the flame which is pretty cool I'm not gonna lie I like that fire effect um this is really interesting for me mainly because the this area could represent you know hey yo <laughs> there's a lot more stuff happening for Sora because there is and even Kairi standing there so I don't know I don't know if she's gonna be playable I think she is which is uh she's pretty dank Then we get some gameplay of Axel, I think it's gameplay. So here's his Keyblade transformation into his freaking toe in uh, Shurikens. I think it's called Shurikens. And this move looks awesome. The way Syx is over there, that looks cool. So it looks like we can spam this. It looks like a mid-air attack, which is pretty cool. I think we can switch into Roxas and Shion. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, uh, then we get this little bit right here when... The Sea Salt 358 of 2 days trio uh, just slashes through the Psyax like it's nothing and then Axel finishes him off. That could be a situation command or maybe it's just a cutscene but we'll have to wait and see. This was very interesting because I had to actually go and check the closed captions and well Right here, Kyrie's heart hasn't been lost yet, so this could be after the end of the game, of course, um, when you have to go save Kyrie. So maybe that means it's, it's a continuation, which I'm happy. This may be a secret episode. Um, then the charity says, maybe, but this time the situation is a lot worse. <laughs> this is some good stuff. So what if Kyrie is actually somewhere? somewhere that we've never been to and the fact that we have to get this through DLC what if we meet Yazora how oh, damn that would be freaking cool I'm not gonna lie that'd be pretty cool um yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know so I'm really excited to see where she is and what the situation is and well <laughs> what are we gonna do to save her I'm so excited for this part right here I love this so much in the trailer, but look at Oblivion! It's back, Oblivion is back, I'm happy, so all keep and Oblivion are back. And yes, we have a dark form, which I'm so excited about, we have dark form. Uh, but look at this health bar, goddammit! <laughs> so right here, we got him versus Vanitas, and look at this! Look at that block. There's chains that come around that block, it looks awesome, and 
Then we have Dark Form and you see it goes into Dark Burst once that happens when you block and then Dark Burst comes there as an option. You can see it again uh, right here. So I'm guessing this is a data, bar, data boss fight which I'm really excited for. And we see Sora facing Zigba but within his light form. So I'm not too sure if we get different forms through the aspect but I'm excited for it. Uh, we see Zigba shooting at Sora then BAM! We just escaped. From that fireball from Zigbear. Zigbear is trying to kill us again. <laughs> but yeah, this shot actually does quite a bit of damage. More than I expected it to. Like, look at that. It's that shot and the health bar just depletes. It looks like Zigbar's stuff go down. Which could immobilize him and make him open to attacks. Which I cannot wait to start hurting this man. <laughs> So basically, Aqua right here is saying that, well, Terra, I'm casting you. Well, basically saying Zaynod, I'm gonna cast you out of Terra. So she wants to free Terra, which is good stuff right here. I'm really excited to for this fight, and we get the best thing about this trailer for me. <laughs> We have Aqua lifting Ven with this right here, with the ice uh, board, whatever, when basically it looks cool. I think this is a tag team move or maybe it's a cinematic move uh, or going into a gameplay move because we see this right here. It looks like gameplay. I'm excited for it. <laughs> So it looks like the Master of Masters is talking to young Xehanort and says, I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be pretty lousy. They could be talking about Sora, which I really like. So this could be not an alternate timeline, maybe just before Sora and them could actually go there. Then we have, so you have the power to make that change. So it looks like young Xehanort has a pretty, pretty big uh, interest from the Master of Masters. Looks like the Master of Masters is, is trusting a lot within young Xehanort. So then we have, what do you want from this world? And this is what uh, the Master of Masters is actually uh, telling young Xehanort. And it really makes me wonder, is young Xehanort going to be a good guy or bad guy, even though we know already. But yeah, it's it's very interesting. And then we get this scene right here, when Sora and Namine are talking within Sora's heart. So right here, it's bad news for Terra if either of them get Hurt. So they could be talking about uh, Terra's armor, the Lingen Will, and uh, Terra Nort, or maybe Aqua and Ven. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. But then we have Sora telling Namine, you have to go, uh, you have to leave, go to the world of ocean and sky. So that could be the realm of light, and he could be in the realm of darkness, or within uh, a heart. So to free, so he can free them with the power of awakening, or maybe this is Scala at Kylum. Uh, we do not know, but I'm really excited for it. <laughs> then we get the biggest tease at the end when the lingering will and Terranaut face each other. Now, if, I know a lot of people are saying like Lingren Will wasn't there for such a big aspect. This will definitely change that. I'm really hyped for that. I don't know why, but I'm so hyped for it. And with that, the trailer ends with the Remind Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC that will be coming this winter. Still no news about the release, but I'm really excited about it. And yes, maybe I missed out a few stuff. I would much appreciate it if you guys actually found some stuff I may have not found within the trailer and let me know in the comment section uh, down below but yes guys please let me know what you guys think about this video if it helped out if you guys actually like it if i was an idiot please let me know uh, please leave a like helps me a lot comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think share with friends share with friends, and most importantly subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt anyway guys that is it for this video and as always this is the lightning shade 
a blaze out.